My new novel, After Her, was inspired by the story of the family of a homicide detective in charge of the investigation of a series of serial killings in the late 70s and early 80s known as the Trailside Killings. In a writing class that I taught at my house, I met a woman, now well into adulthood, who, when she was little, grew up in Marin County as the daughter of the chief homicide detective in charge of that investigation. I became friendly with Janet and her sister Laura and fascinated by how their lives had been shaped by growing up in the shadow of those killings and watching what that investigation and the enormously frustrating search for the killer had done to their father. The novel that I wrote is not about the killer in the end. It's about the sisters and their father. One of the things that I observed early on from getting to know Laura and Janet was how close they were, how bonded they were. My dad never talked about his job. And when he was working on the serial killer case, we never heard anything other than what we saw on TV or in the newspapers. But when I read your book, I felt like I was going through it with them, and it was very, very emotional. It was. It was very emotional. Yeah. It did feel like you really captured my father in the main character, and it was also very tragic and very mm -hmm. sad to go through the murder investigation. And of course, I thought of my dad a lot and how he must have suffered. If I were to identify the moment that I knew I wanted to write a novel about this experience, it was hearing Laura say that at the age of probably about 40, yeah. you made the decision to go to San Quentin to visit the Trailside Killer. I wrote the Trailside Killer. I identified myself and I asked if he would let me come visit him. He replied that I could and I did have a very secret uh, desire to um, see if I could get him to confess. Um, he had so never he, confessed. He had never confessed. A big part of what After Her is about is resolving unfinished yes, business. Yes. You lost your father when you were mm. very young and you never got a resolution. Yeah. And he never got a resolution. And you sought it 30 years later by going to San Quentin and didn't get it. But I wanted to imagine how these two sisters might find resolution and redemption of their father, who was really broken. I want to make my readers feel pain, love, mm -hmm. and loyalty. And you feel it all. You feel it all. Yes, you do feel and it all. And redemption and hope.